good afternoon on this pretty windy but warm day. We're gonna actually try the creek today. It's overcasty out here. It's pretty dang windy, but it does seem like good weather out here. The birds are chirping. It's about 70 degrees at the high right now. It's good weather. We haven't had rain in quite a while, so I'm thinking the creek might be down. So we're gonna just check out the creek today and there's kind of a chance for thunderstorms later today, but it says there's thun it's thunderstorming right now, but it's not. So we're gonna, whenever my dad gets home, we're gonna go to the creek and we're gonna check it out. Okay guys, so over here is, this is the whole spot where we would find, you know, where we found most of our stuff. Look how much has changed. This used to be all uh, nothing but rocks, but now look at all the water. I mean, maybe it does this every year, but I, I have my doubts. I think we just got a lot of water this year. I'm gonna flip a few of these rocks in the camera because I remember we found some stuff underneath them before. These were like the only, oh, salamander. Okay, so yeah, right underneath that rock, we just put it back. Two line salamander. So I'm gonna be flipping a whole bunch of these rocks because they seem to hold a lot of cool stuff after we check all these and find nothing. So we're gonna at least be finding some sort of stuff down here. So we're gonna film most of them. And we're gonna put this two line salamander, which is a usual find of ours, <laughs> back over there. Oh, another two line. Another two line salamander. This one seemed to have lost its tail from something. It's probably one of the ones you caught. You remember the one you caught that lost its tail? Yeah. Don't know if it's the same one. Does seem pretty slow. Makes sense because, well, this is still the beginning of spring. So that's pretty cool. Second two line salamander of the day. Probably going to check a lot more of these because this is really the only finds we're going to see today as the creek is still very high. So we're gonna put this guy right down there and we're gonna keep flipping. <gasps> frog, frog. Where'd he go? There he is, no, man. I think I got the flip clip on camera, but there was a frog, a bullfrog underneath that rock right there, but he got away. Salamander. Dang. What was it, Matt? It was a salamander. He went away. Salamander. Oops, salamander. Another one. Okay, so it took me quite a while to catch another one, but there's a salamander. Another, that's a third two lined. Well, actually, there's, I, I found many, but I couldn't catch many of them. But there you go. Third in hand two lined salamander. Check that man out. That's really cool. There you go, man. Handsome man. I'll flip your rock back. Okay, so I did end up. Oh, well, he fell down, but I did end up. I did end up catching another one. We're gonna go. We're gonna check all the rocks down here, and then we're gonna leave, cause I've been here for quite a while, just flipping uh, salamander rocks. I've been finding a lot recently, so they're definitely successful for finding stuff. It just might take a while, you know. Coming. Salamander. Okay, so this is probably gonna be the last salamander I'm gonna find today. But we found quite a lot in this little side section here. So there goes probably the last salamander I'll find today. We're gonna go home now. So it was nice, we flipped quite a lot of rocks here. It's a nice side section for tons of cool salamanders. We found quite a lot here. 
but most of them uh, I couldn't catch because they were pretty fast. Found one frog. It was all right for a pretty early spring day. Did not find a snake, but we're gonna go head home and we'll see you guys later. Good morning, everyone, on this very nice day. Today, it is around like 67 degrees. It's really nice for this early on into the day. We're gonna check out the creek today. We're also gonna check it out tomorrow and the next day after that because we're gonna be seeing so warm weather. It's gonna be way above average than normal for this time. It's only just the beginning of April and we're seeing such good weather. The flowers are blooming, everything is looking great. Today we have like, this has been like the most earliest spring I have ever seen. This is not the record, we're not getting record high temperatures, but we're getting close to record high today. So we're gonna check it out and we're gonna see what we can find, but we do have some beautiful blooming flowers here. And there's tons of bees out here. They stretch like all the way down here. So pretty, look at these. But we're gonna go check out the creek and see what we can find. Okay, so right there, underneath that crack, is a little salamander, and now he's going underneath. That's two lines. See if he stays still when we flip this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. He's actually pretty calm, so we can pick him up here. Oh, they're so slimy today. Look at that guy. <laughs> That's one of the calmer ones we've seen. We actually flipped a crayfish rock and another salamander. So this is our second one of the day. I just couldn't get the other one on camera. I'm gonna put him back underneath this little rock right there. He seems a bit, a bit slow today, but it seems active with those guys at least. So if we don't find any snakes, then we're probably gonna see if we can find any salamanders. Oops, salamander. Another one? Yep. Oh, hilarious. I see him. He's just in a really bad spot, but you can see him right in there. Don't know if I got the flip clip that good. Let's see if we can nudge him right there. Yeah, they're a bit. They're actually pretty calm today. Let's see if we can move him. Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a bit more exposed. Look at that. It's the third salamander of the day. Only could get two on camera, but. Today's pretty active, actually. Um, hoping we find a snake today because I'm seeing a bit more crayfish than I've done. And it's actually gonna get warmer, so that's a good sign. So I'm thinking we might find a snake throughout these few days if we're seeing kind of an active salamander and crayfish day. Cause that's fuel for the main thing we're looking for. Cause even if we don't find any, oh, salamander. I don't know if I got him. This is, it seems very active today. That's a good sign. I saw that guy. Did you see him come down? No, I didn't see him. Well, you didn't see him, but I'm hoping oh, that, I'm hoping the camera caught that. Yeah, that was a big salamander too. We're going to try to walk down there and see what else we can find, sure. but we'll try it out. Okay. So we got past this spot right here. This is a warm rock. not really expecting a snake because the water's pretty cold but at least we'll find maybe a frog and a, a couple of salamanders so yeah this is a this is the island we came no, back not. actually no this the is way down this is the beginning of the island yeah. i'm thinking oh, there's a hawk or an owl yeah. this is um kind of it, it starts to become pretty tricky down there so we might just check out this spot here. But you'll never know. We, it might look better. I'm thinking this I is. Think this might be good. This is. Look, through here. look at how good this spot is, though. It's like it's grown lush. It's real nice looking. Is this? This is a car mat. This is a car mat. Yeah, truck mat. Car mat. Oh, imagine if a water snake was underneath that. Mm -hmm. I would see one being underneath that though. It's kind of weird looking because it looks like a spot that wasn't affected. It's kind of weird. We'll go over there though. That looks like a really good spot. There's been a lot of erosion. Yep. 
looking a lot different throughout here. You know? Oh, salamander. Oh, cool. Look at that. Another two lined. This is really good habitat though, so we're definitely gonna check some of this out. Found a cool salamander underneath that rock right there. Oh, salamander. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a lot of salamanders today. But look at how good this looks. You know what? I think this is the island, Matt. I think it washed in finally. Yep. Well, here you go. But this, this is really good habitat. This is really changed. It's still really good, though. Like, this is... Take a look down salamander. Here. You go ahead and look around here. I'll be right back. There's a salamander. Oh, look at that, dude. That's another salamander. <laughs> it's so funny. That was literally the first rock I flipped, too. Salamander. I think that was a salamander. Oh, that was bad. Frog. That was a green frog. Okay. Let's get set up here. My footing is really bad. Let's see. There he is. That's actually, yeah, that's a green frog. Oh. Stay there. Stay there, dude. I need good footing here. Got him? Yes. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's a, I think that's a, let's see. Yeah, that's a green frog. Okay. He has lateral sides. Look at that. Oh. First in-hand frog of the year. Nice green frog. We're going to check out this nice habitat over here, hoping for some other frogs and some other salamanders, because that's the only thing that's really out at the moment. I do think queen snakes will eventually like this habitat, though. So we're going to put this guy back underneath this rock right here. And we're gonna keep looking. He's real nice. Aww. Oh, he just jumped. He jumped. He's right there. You can see him. Kind of right in there. That's that's awesome. I mean, but it happens sometimes. I was oh, there's two salamanders. One left, and there's one that looks. That actually look at that guy. That's actually a bit of a bigger one. Yeah, today's really active when it comes to salamanders, of course. You think that's a female? I don't know, buddy. Usually females look a bit bigger. Yeah, it might be. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. There was two underneath that one. There was a little salamander party. Wish I could set this back up, fortunately. Oh, frog. Very tiny. It's so active today. I think that's a bullfrog. Really? Uh, does he have... He doesn't have lateral sides. I think that's a bullfrog. He is so... Aww. He's so sleepy. <laughs> yep, today is actually probably one of the active, most active days of the year so far. Definitely expecting more active days. But this is... Today's really good. We're going to do the same tomorrow, too. It's going to be even hotter, which is insane. But there you go. Second frog... Oh, he peed. <laughs> No. Oh, he's scared. I'm so sorry, buddy. He's all right. It's okay. Okay. He is very scared, so we're just going to put him back underneath there. Oh, salamander. <laughs> I think that's about the time we leave now. Yes, sir. It's, it's 6 p.m. It's almost the ending. You know, I would check some of those rocks over there if we could get to it. Those are some really good rocks, but... Maybe next time, but I think tomorrow we're going to go in the same spot because this is probably the most active spot we've seen. It's real private. I don't think anyone knows this is down here besides us. So we're definitely going to check this place out tomorrow. Just going to get some other shots of, here of it today. Found so much salamanders. I think we found about 10, almost 10 today. Probably going to check a few on the way back. And I'll let you guys know if we find anything else, but we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow because this spot's really good. I'll see you guys later. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a, a really nice 
67 degree weather at the moment. It's gonna get way warmer than this as we get into the afternoon hours. It's only early afternoon. But as we get further and further into the day, we're gonna be seeing way hot temperatures. It's gonna be about 78 as a high today. Even a lot higher. The only problem with today is that it's cloudy and overcast. But it's such good weather for salamanders and frogs and stuff like that. So that's the main target I'm going to see today. You may, we might see an occasional uh, snake. I have my dowel, so we're not going to see a snake today. But again, you just never know. Queen snakes could be out today. So we're just going to try it today. It's real warm. This is the warmest I've ever seen for this early on into April. And we're just going to check it out. Okay, so it's not a snake nor an amphibian. It is a invertebrate. Right here we have this leech's millipede. It's probably one of the coolest millipedes I've ever seen. Flipped it underneath a rock, it is toxic. And it looks toxic too. So it's really cool. It has this beautiful orange. And right when I saw it, I was like, dude, that is so cool. So yeah, here he is. We're gonna let him crawl away. Hopefully we'll find some sort of uh amphibian here or at least a snake but at least we found a cool looking bug so we're gonna keep looking we are back here once again in fact the water looks it looks even more high than it was yesterday goodness gracious okay good news is after the freaking rainfall we're gonna have again it's gonna kind of stop raining luckily and i also did flip this rock and there was a salamander underneath. I don't know where he went. Maybe he's underneath this one? No. Well, there was a salamander underneath that rock, but I uh, don't know where he went. But we're gonna keep flipping for more salamanders because these are like the only successful stuff I find in this air area of the creek because until things get lower, Salamander, right there. First uh, flip clip. I think the flip clip was pretty good too. Nice NC2. I don't think he even realized I was here. Oh, <clears throat> now he's starting to notice. Let's see if we can pick him up. Oh, there he goes underneath the second one. Hold on that back see if we can get him oh <laughs> you went back into the other one there you go in hand salamander okay he just fell down pretty curious there he goes oh he's floating look at that that's actually pretty funny. They're so hard to pick up when they're underneath the water. But there he is. And he just jumped again. Okay. So we're going to leave him to his thing. Maybe we'll find another one. Hoping for a frog. Oh, salamander. That guy is freaking out, wow. Okay, so I thought we were leaving, but we were gonna go this way again because it's more successful. And then I flipped this rock, and there is a green frog underneath. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this guy. I got him. <laughs> that's our second green, yeah, that's he is lateral sides. There you go. Second green frog of the video. These guys are a lot calmer, which is good. So there you go, second in-hand in -hand frog of the year, underneath this rock. That is really cool. Aww. You are one calm gentleman. Okay, we're gonna put him back underneath his rock. I usually don't do this with frogs, but this guy is extra calm, so I have a good feeling. And um, yeah, gotta wash my hands off now. <sighs> That was a good flip though. Okay, so let's see. This one actually looks pretty good. And they can another frog maybe? No, but it looks real good. 
Okay, so we're gonna go keep going this way. We might flip a few rocks on the way, so I'll tell you guys if I find another frog. So right here, this is like the weirdest habitat I've ever seen. It's like this, is this like moss or something? This is like slight moss. This is kind of weird because there's like drippage here. It's like, this is remnants of when the creek got really high, but it left moss here. Even though this is not underneath the water, it's like really cool frog habitat. It's like a terrarium almost. It's so cool looking. Okay guys, so we're right here at this spot again. And then I flip this rock and right there he's kind of underneath that leaf but here is another salamander <laughs> there you go right there that guy was actually kind of a pain to get underneath that big of a rock but there you go we're checking out the spot again and also here's this pretty cool octane frisbee is that supposed to be a frisbee yes yeah, for it's a driver frisbee oh okay yeah. for like it goes the distance that's cool. Nice salamander. We're gonna flip some of these other rocks. We didn't spend too much time in this spot here. So, if we found this cool salamander, then I bet there's more of these guys in this habitat. Put this guy back underneath. And we're gonna keep flipping. So right over there, there's two ducks. One female, one male. And they're just chilling. I didn't even see these guys at first until Dad told me. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Two salamanders. Oh, three! There's one. And there's one right there. And there's the smallest one. Biggest one. Don't know where he went. He went under the rock. There's that guy. Oh, there's a frog. Oh, a frog too! What? Okay, that was a successful piece right there. Nope. Oh, oh, that's another green frog, and he jumped away. Yeah, he's going. He's in the water. And then this guy's still staying. He looks like. So yeah, there was, I'm going to set it down, so watch your hand. There was three salamanders and one frog underneath that rock. Okay, that was definitely... I'm glad I filmed that. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> this does Look at you. There's the smallest one. He was, extra fluffy. he was also the most chillest. That was one good rock right there. See? Let's see, can I still find that frog? That was another green frog, but he jumped away. Yeah, he's in the Yeah. That was a great rock, though. Yeah. Look at all these dudes. There are so many little tiny bugs on my leg. That's how you know it's humid and hot today. Yeah. There's about, like, 20 little dudes on my leg right now. And then we would go, oh, salamander. That was like a really awkward rock, too. See him right there. You can see he's, he's kind of in there. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, there he goes. There's no way to get that guy. He was kind of in a bad spot. Yeah. If this ever happens again, we should check out this spot. Oh, salamander. Right there. <laughs> That's, this is kind of a bad rock. Oh, I hope I didn't squish him. Uh, he's all right. I, I can't get that guy. He's in a bad spot. Well, this is going to be the end of the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, I'm not 100% certain it's going to be the end of the video because tomorrow it is going to be 80 degrees. But the problem is it's going to be severe weather. And, well, it's pretty self-explanatory why we're not going to go because... One, I don't want to put myself in a situation where I'm going to have to be stuck during severe weather while I'm at the creek. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory why I do not want to go that day. But it's pretty much fine because next week it's looking really good. It's actually going to be a lot drier than this week we've had. So we're not going to see rain, hopefully, throughout not all of next week. And another good thing is that it's going to be hot. It's going to be way hotter than usual, about 82 degrees as the highest day. And that is just unbelievable for this time of the year. Like, you usually only see 82 degrees in, what, June or May? Like, this is so weird, guys. It's making me think we're going to have a really hot summer. So this should be the end of the video here. And we'll maybe be going tomorrow, but I doubt it. So we're either going to be cutting to us going to the creek or the video will end right here. So see you later, guys.